Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am looking crazy right now. I wasn't going to film, but I decided to. So I am getting ready to go to an event in Atlanta. I don't think it's like a party or anything. I think it's just like a little gathering that the ladies having. I did a photo shoot with her before for my website and she was really, really nice. So she sent out some invites to some of her clients and I was one of them. So I'm getting ready now. <laughs> my mirror is here. You guys are here. So let's just chat. Look at my skin. It's like, I don't know if my skin is like in the best condition. Um, The older I get, the more I'm just noticing like little things. I used to have like super perfect skin. Um, But that could just be I haven't been to get a face shoot in a while. Um, so that could be it. But anyway, I'm just going to get ready and just chat with you guys <clears throat> about what's been going on. So you guys know I am in the middle of finishing up my living room space, right? And ugh, trying to finish up my living room space. And I'll I don't know if I told you guys. No, I didn't. So I did tell you guys that I had another white hall table from restoration hardware coming because the second one was also damaged like the first one so but the second one had like a really small issue like it was really tiny but you could still see it so they bought the replacement yesterday the re actually no the replacement came yesterday and i'll be honest guys it it <sighs> My experience with Restoration Hardware, <laughs> it hasn't been the best, but I'll say this. My mirror that had the issue with the um, with the piece on the back being crooked, they actually gave me um, some money back on that one. So that was great. And then I told her if the mirror, this is white, if the, if the table is messed up just as much as this one or more, I would keep this one and have them come repair it and they'll just give me back some money. So when the other table came yesterday, guys, I don't know. It was just like, <sighs> you ever got something, sat with it for a while. So now you're already kind of used to that design. It's wood. So you guys know it can look different ways when you order the next one, right? The next one kind of looked like, it was two things that I didn't like about it. One, actually it was three. It looked a little bit lighter. The third thing is, um, it looked like it was a repaired table. I don't know if that makes sense. So I can see like the top layer of it and it was giving me shine, okay? And then the prints on it, which can vary, of course. I didn't really like it. And then the guy, <laughs> the guy... <laughs> That uh, one of the workers was like, you know, hey, it looks like his English was not. He said it wasn't great, but I understood him. Um, he was like, it looks like like hands, cat hands, and I was like, oh, pause. It did. It just looked like, I don't know. I didn't like it. So, um, and then it looked like there was some like, I don't know, like some screeching. I don't. I don't even know how to say it, but it just wasn't like the one that I had that had this the slight issue. So I told them that I would keep, I would keep this one and then they're going to give me some money off of it. Cause I'm just like, come on now. Now I get it. It could have been a new designer and it's no shade to the designer cause the table is really, really nice. Right. But I think when it came to packaging it, they probably could have done a little better. I don't know. Maybe because I, I, I don't tech. No, I did see. I saw it the second time. It was sitting in like styrofoam, but I think they could have done a better job, in my opinion, for it to be RH. You know, um, the stuff is not cheap, and it should be lasting me for a really, really long time. So now I'm thinking, when I do decide to move, this thing's gonna have to be packaged up to the. I mean, it might have to be. The last thing in the truck, the first thing off the truck, if that makes sense. So I'm already going to just like prepare myself for that situation when that, you know, 
comes around when I move. Um, but all in all, I'm going to keep it. They're going to give me around, I think, $500 back or whatever's cheaper at the um, the outlet price, right? So, which is usually like a half or something like that. And then they're going to send out someone to repair it. Now, I'm a little skeptical <laughs> now because it looks like someone repaired those and I didn't, I didn't like it. Um, and then, you know, my thing is this, my eyebrows look crazy. My thing is that everybody's like, oh, just, um, just fill it in, fill in the hole, fill in the little, and I'm like, you know how much this table was? Like, come on guys, people don't have money to waste. So, but luckily that they have, their workers are extremely nice and professional, you know, so yeah so now i'm just waiting for a console table that i purchased from crate and barrel and i said i wasn't gonna get anything that was gonna take a month but i did it was pretty much cl a close as in color to my table um i was gonna get a gray table and just do something a little bit different when i put the color gray in that table came up but when i looked at the people's reviews it was not giving gray. It was giving like a funny brown, which is kind of like how my my table is. Um, they're not going to be side by side, so it's not a set. So I'm not worried about that. And um, yeah, so pretty much everything that's coming along. The next thing I have to get is my, my pictures. My curtains are simple. Um, but my pictures over my dining table, I need to find. I think I want like, I don't know. I feel like I want women like Diana Ross. Like, you know, women, maybe Felicia Rashad. I don't know. I think I want black and white photos of women on my wall. I think if I did abstract... It's going to be too harsh. I don't know yet. I'm still, but I really, I want really large photos. Really large photos. I'm looking this way. Sorry, guys. I need to look this way. Like really large photos. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to just do some research and try to find the best one that I can find. Let's see. I need to do... So sometimes I'm over here with my foundation, which I don't even like to put up like guys. So sometimes I just like tap this little thing on my face. When I say it's a little bit, and then I have like some on here. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot to me. I really don't like... I'll be honest with y'all. I don't really like foundation like that. I don't know. Like, I remember going to school with girls in, like, the sixth grade. And they was, like, makeup down, okay? Like, this is going to drive me insane. They were, like, <laughs> lipstick, um... I don't even know if anybody was wearing foundation back then, those girls. But they damn sure had on a full face of makeup, okay? A full face of makeup. Uh, I'm going to hold this over here. A full face of makeup. And then years later, after junior high school... Mind you, this was sixth grade, these girls. After junior high school... I saw a couple of girls and their skin didn't look great. And I kind of, at that age, I was just like, maybe it was because they wore makeup so early on. You know, messed up your skin, skin's not breathing and stuff. I don't know. That was my thought. But um, <laughs> it made them look a lot older when we got older, you know. Um, and they weren't even that old, you know. So... <clears throat> But yeah, so I don't really like to 
put it. Maybe I'll get someone to do my makeup again. Because I know for sure I'm not, like, putting on a lot. I know this for sure. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, all right, let's get into this concealer. I typically use, you guys know, if you guys don't know, I use the NARS Cafe Deep One. I think it's, yeah, Deep One. And then I don't even put a lot of this. I am like, I guess you could call it like a no makeup makeup. Um, It's not really a lot. And I need to open up my other one because this one is like on. Oh. It's almost, almost done. <laughs> for all the makeup gurus, listen, it works for me. Okay. Just a little bit. Now I'm noticing how much darker my um my face is to here. And I cut something on my, you know what? This happened from a stupid necklace. And I've been trying to heal it for the longest. Uh... Yeah. Lately, I actually been using my fingers under my eye. Like my actual finger. <clears throat> and I'll tell you, I'll show you with the next concealer. I actually like it. So I'll just keep like some tissue or something here. Um, and then, what time is it? I will take Amande which is lighter. And I would just like, child, I don't put it out. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> and I said, I cannot wait to go shopping, guys. I haven't shown you guys any fashion content in a while. I've been so focused on my house, just, you know, redecorating. And that just took a lot of time, to be honest. The next thing is my office, my office, which I have stuff. The issue is I'm trying to get rid of a sofa. It's in really great condition, but I'm just trying to tone down the super white in that room. So yeah, but let me tell you what I was doing. I was actually taking my finger and I was like going like this. And I'll be honest, I was liking it when I did my finger. And sometimes you can just say, <laughs> now don't try this at home if this is, if this is not, um, <laughs> this is not right. But I remember when I was in New York, eighth grade prom, okay? My aunt paid, for, no, not my aunt, my dad. My dad paid for, me to get my makeup professionally done in my eighth grade prom for my eighth grade prom and i remember going to a guy in harlem who was gay and he like he used his fingers and i was like oh he was like your fingers is the key i would never forget that your fingers is the key and i was like oh so sometimes when i rub it in i'm just like I'm just use my fingers all right so i'm just gonna tap this on just a little bit and put it here and here. I don't put a lot guys, I promise you. All right, so then I'm going to, but yeah, he did a really good job with my my makeup using his, using his hands, his fingers. Um, all right, so let's take out, I have this palette. This is the Supernatural Glow 3350, 350. And then I also use the MAC, which this MAC powder is like almost on its way out the door. And I just put it, I put a little bit over my skin. This is mineralizer, mineralizer powder. Just a little bit. 
Uh, and to be honest, I don't even think it'd be doing anything to my skin. Ow. And notice how I wipe that off super fast because I don't really like that powder because it's so, it's so light, like it's white. And I used to have, which I'm gonna buy. I used to have, which one is it? The darker one, the translucent medium deep, but no, I, I ran out. So I'm just trying to get it back together. And now I'm gonna take my Morphe Leader um, bronzer. And I just take it. You guys seen that before? Ooh, it's clone. And then I move this over. Ah. I may have to fix this because this is so far down. Oh well, that's not bad. Yeah. So and then I'm gonna take some of this eyeshadow. I'm gonna take the color, it's called Darker and How Bizarre, and then Remarkable. I've been using those quite a bit, because it's not that dark. I don't even think I use the right brushes, guys, to be quite honest. I'm telling you, for all you makeup girls, put a sister on. I didn't even put any primer on my eye. <laughs> no primer. But to be quite honest, I don't even have an issue where it's like creasing or anything like that. I don't know. I do have a primer, an eyebrow primer. I mean, a shadow primer. I just don't use it. Yeah. And I don't know, maybe I'm afraid to put a lot of makeup on. Afraid that I'm going to like break out or something because I just I don't that's a lot I look like a lot yeah it could be a fear because don't nobody got time to be breaking out at almost 43 okay I'm actually gonna leave it like that mm, maybe I'll add a little bit of this little sparkly Oh, I'm getting my towel messed up. Okay. So I'm going to go to this event. I'm going to try to vlog when I get there. I just don't know how it's going to be inside. It's not that big. I mean, it's a decent size. It's a decent size. And let's take some blush NARS this is savage this thing is beat to the ground guys <clears throat> beat to the ground and then let me spray some I'm running out of satin powder I think I'm going to try um, Urban Decay's because I heard that one is like really, really good. So I think I'm going to try Urban Decay's because this MAC one, it don't be hitting. So Urban Decay, I'm going to buy some new stuff and show you guys. Um, let's, like I said, I got to get back into the swing of things because I was really trying to focus on my home. I don't know. how Are you like that? Like, are you, when you're working on something, you kind of like pump the brakes on other stuff I do because there'd be a lot going on I'm like I need to do this this and that all right so I'm gonna use <laughs> so listen my eye liner liquid liner I just used Maybelline well, I was using the the elf one but this one has like more of like a stiff tip let me see if I can get this on. So 
silence, guys. Oh, shoot. I'm not no guru, okay? Let's put it over here. I gotta hurry up and get out of here because I gotta drive all the way to the city. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I see my nose has. You see my nose? Okay. <sighs> My eyes watering. The weather's not so great either, so. And then I use my Dior show. I, I've been, I love this. I'm gonna try to stop putting castor oil on my eyes. I heard that it makes your lashes grow. I'm gonna try it out. Mm-hmm. And you guys know I don't wear lashes. Well, not not often. Like it's very very <laughs> far apart when I do wear them. And that is because. I can't put them things on quick enough. Mm-hmm. I need to add some more liner to the top. It looks a little faded. You can see. I'm going to fix that. Let's add a little more. I think this side is too dark. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, actually, I didn't put it on the bottom. All right. I'll show you guys when I'm dressed. I have no idea what I'm wearing, but I want it to be like super chill. Because it's not that nice outside. Yeah. Why am I quiet? Well, listen, I thank you guys for joining me today and all of the makeup that I use it's between NARS most of it is NARS and then Morph Morphe and what else Morphe and MAC and what's this Laura Mer Mercier yeah, most of it is MAC, actually. This is chestnut. Mm. 
And then I usually go in. Oh, is that chestnut? <laughs> yeah. And then I usually go in with my spirit. This is spirit, which is like a natural. Um, and I'll just go in the center. Yeah. And I rub it. And that's it. <laughs> that is it. I don't do anything extra. But I am going to go get dressed. So I will catch you when I get dressed and show you my, my look for today. And I'm going to really try to vlog inside. Like I said, I don't know what the event is. But I am going to try. Let me put my little, my little situation right here my little situation and then we're good so i'll catch you guys in a minute let me get dressed and then i'll come back with my final look all right 